So in the series of learning C++ programming language, we are discussing control structures in C++. Now we have discussed if, if else, else if letter and nested if. Now one that is left is switch case statement that we'll be discussing in this video. See when we're discussing else if letter uh, statement in that video, I have told you this program we can do with the help of a switch case statement. Here we have multiple conditions. You write else if, else if, then condition, else if, then again condition, else if, then again condition, multiple conditions we have. Multiple you can see choices we have and you have to select one, right? So in that case you can use, you can write down this program with the help of switch case statement and if you write this with the help of switch case statement that would be more readable program and uh, probably will have less number of uh, lines of code than this, right? So now what is this uh, switch case statement, why we use it, how to use it with the help of a program, I will show you everything, every single detail about switch case statement, right? Some important points also. So we'll be discussing in this video all the things. But before that, I just want to tell you one thing. Geeks for Geeks is coming up with an event, Skill Dependence Days from 13th to 15th of August. So the aim of this event is to be skill dependent, keep learning and keep growing. It is a three days sale. During these days, you will get flat 15% site-wide discount. On the entire website of Geeks for Geeks, you will get flat 15% discount. And offer of the days are also there during these uh, three days. Those are on 13th of August, you will get 20% discount on complete interview preparation course. On 14th of August, you will get 20% discount on all seven live courses. And on 15th of August, on DSA self-paced course, you will get 20% discount. So this is an opportunity for you guys to grab the courses you want at best price and best offers. So mark your calendars and participate in the event. So all the relevant links and detail you will find in the description box of this video, you can go and check out. Now let's see, what is switch case statement? So as I have told you, this is what you can say is a substitute of that long if else statement, else if letter, else if, else if, else if, else if. So you can substitute that thing with the help of switch case statement, right? See, as you can see, uh, we have multiple switches like on the board one switch is of fan if you switch on that press that switch your uh, fan would be turned on one is for light one is for another light one is maybe for you know uh, ac different different switch we have so whatever switch you will press according to that the you know task would be done the associated task to that switch would be done maybe fan would be turned on maybe ac would be on maybe light would be on whatever task would be associated to that switch Right, so we have multiple choices, we have multiple choices here, right, you can switch on the fan or the light or according to your need, right, same during your program when we write program we maybe we have multiple choices and depending on a condition we have to choose, we have to select one or maybe two, it depends on the requirements, right, that thing also we will discuss later once basics are clear, right. Once the main reason of using switch case statement is clear to you guys, right? So multiple choices you have, you have to select one, right? In that case, we can use switch case statement. Now, how to write down this thing? See, simply we write this switch and here we write expression. Now, this expression should be evaluated in a constant value integral value you can say right so whatever or the expression the you know, valid expression can be what that also we will see first of all let me just write down the syntax switch expression you will write here right then we write case case and here the value of the case right or the label of that case right i am writing here value suppose value 1 right now the colon and then the statement you want to execute fine uh, suppose i'm writing block of statements one and and break why break that also we'll see next again case value two right then we can say block of statements two and break like this multiple cases you can have one or many number of cases as you want right so suppose case 
and we have value n then and at last we have a default case default and same colon and default statement that's it if you want to write down you can write down break also in default right but it is not necessary to write down break in default and when it is compulsory to write down break in default also that case also we'll be discussing so this is general syntax of writing a switch case statement right so now some important points about this is this expression now should be evaluated in constant value or integral value right like here i can simply write any integer value 1 2 3 4 5 like this any integer value or i can write down expression like 1 plus 2 that is also fine or i can write here 2 into 2 that is also fine divide by 2 that is also fine expression but that should be evaluated at last ultimately in a constant constant value right I can also write a variable name like a. The condition is we have to declare first of all a. Suppose a is equal to 5. So a is also fine. You can write down, write down a plus 2. That is also fine. You can write down a plus b. But you have to declare b also. b is equal to suppose 4. a plus b is also fine. a plus b plus c. This kind of expression you can write. Fine. Second thing what you can write, uh, write here character also you can write suppose I am writing here rather than expression I am simply writing a see I haven't declared anything here and I am writing simply a that will give error but if you write here in single quote a it means in single quote it would be considered as a character character would be you know stored in, uh, in the format of sky number so the related associated numerical value for a is 97 so it would consider a as 97 integer value constant value so that is fine constant value is allowed here string is not allowed float is not allowed right i hope you got in expression what you can write down you can experiment when you write a program we will also experiment these things right and you can also experiment by yourself now this value these value value 1 value 2 value n these also be should have uh, integral value like either a constant value 1 2 3 4 0 minus 1 99 these kind of things 100 257 these are value or character value same like I can write down a character value not simple a that would it's not a character it's a variable it will give error single quotes yeah that is character that is allowed a b c d capital a b c d or any symbols also like plus minus obviously these are also having associated sky value you can refer to the sky table so those symbols also you can use here but that should be associated with an integer value so integral type of thing we can write down here string not allowed float not allowed any comparison type of thing not allowed like a less than 2 not allowed these kind of things not allowed right now why we use this break break means just terminate this switch here and comes out of this switch suppose out of this switch I am writing here uh, out of switch statement so break means once the condition is true like uh, we'll discuss this thing with the help of an example right first let me just draw a flow chart related uh, you know uh, associated with this thing then you will get it better okay so this is the flow chart i hope you can see this we have a switch expression first this would be evaluated based on that we'll check the values the case values right case 1 if it is true if it is true the value is matched with this value 1 the expression whatever value you have evaluated the constant value that would be matched if matched with this value 1 then yes true then this block of statement would be executed 
then break and after that break means out of the switch out of the switch means out of switch statement directly out of switch statement if case one value doesn't match it is false case two would be checked same thing would, would happen if true the statement would be executed break and out of the switch if not true false third case would be checked fourth like this n number of case would be checked and after that directly default statement would be executed and out of switch statement this is simple working of switch case statement right now i have told you two important points what here you can have what these values you can have right now see if you don't write break statement here then it is not going to break here if this value would be matched it would enter here this statement would be executed and it would also execute this block of statement as soon as it find out a break then it will break it will come out of the uh, switch <coughs> no uh, out of the switch and go to out of switch statement right that is why we write down after every in every case break if you want that if this value is true if this value is matched these two cases should be executed so no need to write down this break right now <clears throat> if in the last you are writing default no need to write down this break but you can write down this default anywhere in the switch here also in between any case statement also if you are writing this default at the end it's okay if you are not writing at the end then it is compulsory you should write break in this default statement these points you need to take care right and this default is optional if you don't want to write it's okay then also this would be executed default means if any none of the case value is matched then by default maybe we are writing like enter valid choice right these kind of things so error or maybe error message you want to print so that is by default but it is completely optional right break is also optional but why we are writing break why it is compulsory that i have told you the reason also that i'll show you also uh, when we write a program so let me just write down a program and show you the working of this switch case statement okay so first program will write like see whenever you go to customer care then they give you multiple option like press 1 to do this thing press 2 to do this thing press 9 to talk to our you know customer care executive right so according to your whatever number you will press according to that action would be performed right you have multiple choices so that kind of thing we are going to you know do with this uh, switch case statement that program we are going to write so same header file using namespace std then main function i'm first of all writing uh, taking int variable int choice ch choice enter your choice now i'm asking from the user enter your choice now see in we have entered a choice in switch simply write down ch i'm not writing at this point of time any expression long expression simple a variable i'm writing so this variable value would be checked against that test case against the case values and match case if the case is matched associated to that uh, the whatever the statements are there that would be executed right so simply a variable i'm writing ch whatever you will enter 1 2 9 5 4 right switch ch now okay case first we will write like uh, case 1 suppose i'm not writing any character i'm taking simple first integer value case 1 the value can be either integer or character right case 1 so in this case the output should be see out i wanna know my balance that's it then break then i'm writing case 2 i wanna register a complaint right okay now case 9 i wanna talk to customer care executive generally at 9 they give this option right so it's okay case 1 2 9 any number you can write down it's not it's not like that you have to write down 1 2 3 4 no maybe here you can write down 13 at first then 2 any number you can write down, write down but the condition is it should be integer or character right 0 you can write down right okay now 1 2 and 9 i'm writing after that i'm writing default it is optional default and in default it should print like uh, c out 
enter valid choice right and uh, break okay fine now out of uh, the switch I'm writing C out end of switch case or may simply be I'm writing out of switch case and return 0 right let me just run this program it is simple program first of all it will ask enter your choice it is asking so I'm entering 2 now what it is printing I want to register a complaint I want to register a complaint because case 2 is the value is matching I'm entering 2 which case this is value 1 not matching then again case 2 yes it is matching so this statement would be executed I want to register a complaint then break break means out of switch out of switch I am writing out of switch case that is it again run this and okay let me just run this again enter your choice 9 I want to talk to customer care executive out of switch case again run suppose this choice I am writing 8 I am entering 8 then 8 is not matching with any case value 1 2 9 no so it will go to default default means enter valid choice so it is printing enter valid choice out of switch case fine I hope you got this okay you can simply write down ch any expression like ch plus 2 I am writing that is also fine because ultimately ch value you will enter plus 2 would give any constant value so suppose I am running this it will not give any error and I am entering the choice like 7 so now it is printing I want to talk to customer care executive choice is 7 in switch case we have switch expression we have ch plus 2 7 plus 2 is 9 so case 9 is the value match I want to talk to customer care executive okay any variable you are taking int a b c so you can write down here a plus b plus c or a into b you know, this kind of expression you can write out 2 plus 2 2 into 2 5 plus 4 divided by 5 plus 4 divided by 2 this kind of thing but float value is not allowed suppose I'm writing here 1.2 this is float so it is giving error see expression must have integral or enum type integral means either integer or character character also would be represented with sky code integer value or enum type enumeration data type that is also allowed float string not allowed right now if now here rather than this one two three you can write down also characters also we can write down right so suppose uh, I am this time I am taking data type of this character is char right ch char and case one I am writing suppose a small a okay and it will print the character is a that's it now case 2 I am taking capital A and here I am printing printing the character is capital A okay and case 1 I am taking suppose uh, capital J so simply I'll print the character is day and in default I'm printing enter valid character right and then I go switch so fine character values are also allowed integer or character let me just run this enter your choice I'm printing small a the character is small a out of switch case again run this I am print I am entering R enter valid character out of switch case no case is matching right okay if uh, see I don't write any break here in that case what will happen see let me just run this and show you enter your choice I am entering cap small a so what it is printing the character is small a the character is capital A and then out of switch case why so 
I am entering A, choice is A, so it is matching with this case A, so it will print the character is A. Then no break, so it will continue executing, the character is capital A. Now break, yeah, once it will find break out of switch, right, that is why we are writing break to break the flow, the execution, right. Now, default you can write down anywhere in your program. I am writing this default at starting. If you are writing at starting or anywhere, no, you are not writing at the end, then it is compulsory to write down this break. If you will not write down this break, what will happen? See, let us run this. I am entering small o, small r. What it will print? Small r is not in any case. So, it will be executing default statement. Default means enter valid character. But it is printing the character is small a and then out of switch case. Why so? Because default is at the first at the beginning, okay. And after that there is no break. So, it will continue the execution. The character is small a. Now, it is finding break. Now, it will break out of the switch case. So that is why if you write down default in the middle of the program or you can say in the middle of the switch case or at the starting, not at the end, then it is compulsory to write down break. At the end, if you are writing default, no need to write down break, right? Okay, now that is it. Uh, okay, second, uh, maybe like uh, I am writing here, ch plus 2. Okay, now let us run this. Enter your choice. I am entering capital H. Capital H means you will say like capital H is not matching with any case. So, default would be executed like enter valid character. Okay, let us see. No, 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 no. It is printing enter the character is capital J and then out of switch case, no default. Why so? Because in expression, in switch expression, we are writing ch plus 2. Means ch is h, h plus 2, h i j, if you add in the sky value. So, plus 2, if you will do, then it will be j, right? So, yes, we have a case j, this is the case and the character is j, it will print, right? So, I hope you got, now you can experiment with yourself. Right? Different, different cases can be there, different, different kind of things you can do with this thing. Just try to use here string, here string, what error you are getting. You have to be familiar with the error also. Like if you write down this thing string, this type of error you will get. Right? That is also very, uh, it's a good practice. To be a good coder, you have to, you know, identify the errors, type of errors, what you can get. Right? And how to resolve that kind of errors, how to identify. So, now one assignment for you is, you have to write down a program, it is you can say a project, simple project for you guys, you have to devise a calculator, right. If I press plus, it will ask you from the user like first of all enter two numbers, A or B you can say, then it will ask enter the operator or in, enter your choice. If I enter plus, plus operator, it will add these two numbers. If I enter minus, it will subtract. If I enter into, it will multiply. If I enter divide, it will divide. If I enter modulo, it will give you remainder or the modulo operation would be performed. So, this is for your assignment. You have to write down a program something like this. You have to devise a calculator, right? So, rather than now, here the case value would be rather than ABC or 1, 2, 3, 4, you can use any symbol also plus, minus, into, multiply, divide, okay? So, this you have to do. This is your assignment. And second assignment is, so this is your assignment, right? You have to enter the choice and these are the cases capital P, small, uh, sorry capital A, small A, then default, then capital J, right. And what you need to enter, first input should be capital A, what output you will get, then capital P, then small B, then capital J and then small A. Now you have to tell me what output you will be getting according to these, these are the cases, right. So now I hope you are now familiar with the switch case and you can do experiment with yourself. You are, you know, familiar with the basics of switch case statement, how to use it, why to use it and what is switch case, right? So now see the next video till then, bye, take care.